Katie, Amanda, where is my suit? Huh? Where is my suit? We, uh, put it away. Where? That edit cringy dialogue was done by that of non-alcoholic martini on YouTube. He has another channel on Tumblr, but whatever. I mean, I don't think he minds me doing that, but uh, there's another bit he did that's going to be funny needle on, I'm going to add. So, uh, spoiler on that in part three. But this is part two. Hi, welcome to part two of the Goosebumps Horror Town, Bride of the Living Dummy. Ooh. And, uh, ooh, this, this is gonna get a little bit more interesting, let's just put it that way. But very interesting indeed, something more, uh, controversial, maybe. But that, that won't happen just yet. But, oh boy, is this, this is gonna be something interesting. But I digress! Let's go ahead and, uh, let's show some artwork, uh, done by our, 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 before we talk about the main character, the main star of the show, let's show us some art, because this was supposed to be taking place during Valentine's Day. And our friend over, you know, type of vampire, actually decided to do some art of, of some stuff. And uh, here are some catches of uh, potential Valentine's Day themed pictures at first. And you might be looking at this and thinking, oh, that's weird. Why would this be considered Valentine's Day? I mean, you could probably think that this kind of looks something similar. It's kind of like what you would expect with those Valentine's Day cards, right? But, uh, anyways. Uh, besides that, he actually ended up doing four of these, and I'm going to show them off here, so I want to show. First one is with um, our friend Andy, which is, I think you're awesome, <laughs> with the um, anarchist A there, because, you know, oh, I think your is a bit, whatever. Anyways, I think, well, maybe that was done on purpose, but anyways, uh, then we get the actual, this is actually weird, it, uh, this was a different artwork done with the, the sweets, but, the teddy bears, but, uh, you know, the gummy bears, so I should say, but anyways, we think you're sweet, ooh, mmm, you know what would be fun is if someone actually printed this off and give it to hell on time, you know, if I was a kid, I would probably do that, just because, why not? And then we get this one, which is the magical assistant, which is your magical. Yep. Okay. And then we get the last one, which is, uh, you know, our glitchy spider friend. You got one new message. I love you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's it's a little bit crit, and you know, it, yeah. What do you expect? You know, it's it's fun little stuff. It, it'd be interesting to kind of see. And to be honest, you can type in Valentine's um, New Year um, stuff, and uh, <laughs> you know, there's there's a lot of different ones for it. But whatever. Anyways, let's dive into this particular uh, topic at hand with the bride. All right. Let's talk about the main character we're getting, Jillian Zimmerman. I think is her name. And there she is. Look at her. Look at her glory. This is the character we get, not Mary Ellen, but uh, that we'll be talking about later on, so don't don't worry about that. Um, but yeah, this is her. That's that's our girl. But did you know that behind the scenes, I actually asked Playboy Vampire to maybe design a, a potential Zillion type? Because when I heard uh, Zillion was going to be in the game, I was like, how can we make this work? How can we make Slappy like this character, like fall in love with her? Like, it has to look different. It can't be a human because that wouldn't be, like, that would be the twist, right? It'd be like, oh, you're a human? Oh, you know. But... So, what, what was the idea? So I talked to him, and he kind of came up with a design, and uh, let me show you his version of Jillian. Bam! There she is. It looks kind of creepy, right? Yeah, so this is the Jillian version that we ended up coming up with. And what was interesting about this version um, was the fact that this was supposed to be kind of like a... Um, one of those, like, it made it look like, kind of like a human doll. You know those types, like, there's a Lolita cosplay type of costume-esque type of thing. You know, wearing Victorian-style clothes, but in Gothic-type style. And we figured that this would have been interesting, and uh, we think about her character, and we're thinking, like, maybe she could be, like, a Wednesday Addams type of character in the game. It would have been interesting to kind of see, and it would have made sense, you know? It could have been interesting, or kind of cool, and... You know all that stuff in the early drafts of sketch of what she could have looked like before but 
Unfortunately, that wasn't meant to be. Uh, instead, we got something else entirely. And uh, as you'll probably expect later on, and you'll find out with a very much passion with me, uh, the fact that I didn't like what the direction I decided to go with. But uh, oh well, that we were, this is the time like we're living in now. So this is what we get. All right, well. Let's, why don't we jump into the gameplay, I guess, so this is going to be half of the quest line, and then the last bit of the event is going to be the last part, as per usual. But anyways, this is taking place on the 3rd March, sorry, the March 28th of 2023, which I believe was just after my first part ended, which took very long, but uh, let's just dive in here. I am Jillian. I am the best character of this game. I'm better than Slappy and Mary Ellen combined. Okay, not really, but, uh, you know, if you can get what that reference is, I can tell you what, if, if you can tell me what that was from, I'll pin your comment on this video. And uh, just to help you with a hint, uh, this also came from, this episode came, or not episode, but this sh this bit came from the show where Garbage Day became a very dangerous day. So there you go, there's your hint. Anyways, uh, well, hello, welcome to part two. As I suspected before, we're now going to be taking a look at the new character, Jillian, uh, the clown, apparently, or the clownist apprentice. I, this will be interesting to see how this goes about. But yeah, this is the character I was fearing for. Like, oh no, is this going to be what I think it's going to be? But, you know, whatever. But yeah, as you can see, I got some stuff going on here. And uh, what a nice, interesting house. So they actually got a nice little... Oh, that, that's something interesting I didn't get to see, is that they actually have a little side thing with the table and whatnot. So we got to see some work around and yeah as you can see we got the one true egg monster ready to go for us when we summon them so let's put this down remember when this game used to remember when this game was a thing like way before and uh it took them ah uh, okay i was about to say this uh, this was taking a little while <laughs> i thought it would be an instant thing but um Okay, there we go. That damn, that took a little while. Remember how there used to be like construction work for some of these levels, and then later on they're like, "Nah, screw it, we'll just accept it right now." All right, so let's go ahead and welcome Jillian. Three, two, one. Hey, and look, there she is, '90s kid. <laughs> Jesus, she is definitely '90s. It looks like they kind of got inspiration from the show, kind of, but not really. But they did make her stand out by making her unique looking, so I'll give you that. I don't know what she's based off of. So let's see the in-game model. Okay, she doesn't look that bad. Wait, hold on a second. Wait, 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 wait. Let me see your hair for a minute. Oh my god, she got jiggle physics for her hair. That's the first time I've ever seen that happen before. Okay, interesting. So, yeah, certainly the animation team for this character. I really do like her. She really does pop, and she does fit within the character's models from the other ones. You know, not to say that I don't mind how Lizzie looked, but, you know, <laughs> you can tell it's like some different people. But anyways, since she's here, let's see how she looks when she's scared with the one true egg monster. All right, there you go. Go get her. All right, there she is. And, oh, she actually has a scared face as well. Interesting. Let's see if we actually get to see her scared in the front. So let's see this. Ah, uh, we might not because of how this is just going to go about. But uh, maybe... Oh, yeah, no, there we go. Interesting. So they actually went ahead and actually did some interesting animations with her. Yeah, look at that. So, yeah, they actually changed her face animations. That's good. I love that. So, yeah, even though the team is, like, small, they put little details like this, which is actually nice. You never really get to appreciate something like this. And, by the way, I'm just going to say this right now. I love these little eggy Egberts. Thank God. I love how their animations take so long, because this is just perfect when it comes to just, like... Are like not only archivable purposes, but also testing things out, like when it comes to scaring these characters. So now we have a good idea of what they look like instead of having to spawn random things and hoping that they actually end up getting the character we want. So, yeah, thanks for that. You have done your part. 
Thank you so much. You have served your duty, the one true egg monster. Now we go back. I love that when I discovered that was a thing back in the summer. I uh, That's now just the running joke. That's the running bit now. Anyways, we got her here. So now, as usual, now normally I would go over here and um, look at these things as well. And I'm going to do that, but not right now because... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is embarrassing, but I forgot to mention this, the last update, or the last video. Uh, apparently, I, me, the stupid old me, forgot that um, to put their alarm on. So I ended up sleeping in a little later than I should be, and uh, I have to go into work very soon. So, you know. But uh, let's just take a look at her as herself. So let's see this here. We got clown training, which is basically inside the house. Time for ice cream. Oh, boy. <laughs> It's Eric Affaby all over again. I'm not going to do that, though. That's going to be the last thing you're going to ever do. Actually, I mean, I could technically bring her back to their house. So unlike Eric Affaby, once he's gone, that's it. So, you know, a bad clown performance, which I guess makes sense. Mary Ellen shaking. Um, okay. Green mucus foam. Oh, God, really? You really got to do that? Okay. Ventriloquism. Okay, well, this is... All right, I'm going to say this. This is interesting. So, okay. <laughs> I already mentioned this in the so-called uh, part zero of this video on the whole vomiting thing. So, I don't know how to feel about this. And I don't know what what to say about her character. I guess I'm going to have to look at her character as well as her. Because... Something tells me that they basically made this. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna say this right now. I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna eat crow on this one. At least so far, the story could suck. The story could still like you know. But so far, <laughs> I'm gonna eat crow on this. You did it. You you exceeded my expectations. You made Jillian not and Connor 2.0. So congratulations on that. You did it and. uh Oh, hold on a second. Give me a sec. What? Why are you looking at me like that? What? What? What I said? What? Eating crow? No, not really eating crows. It's it's a metaphor. You know, like you say something in the. Oh, oh, okay, okay nice, nice. Okay, thanks, thanks. Bye. Oh God. <sighs> All right, that that was that was kind of awkward. So. Uh, Gail heard me, and uh, yeah, she didn't take too kindly <laughs> being a cartoon crow herself. Man, don't you like that bit? <laughs> do, do you remember back in the day when I pretended as if she was playing the game and I was commentating over her gameplay? Remember that? Yeah, that was fun. I, I'm glad to see that bit came back. But yeah, m imaginary characters are now part of the lore. Deal with it. But anyways, we got a bunch of stuff here. So I guess an eight-hour quest would be... I mean, clown performance. Pfft, oh, God. I mean, what do I want? I guess ventriloquism because it is an eight hours and I'm going to work. So, you know, it gives us much better. So let's see this here. All right, let's do ventriloquism question mark. Oh! Oh! Hold on a s Oh, okay. Oh! Okay. Wow. Well. <laughs> Here I was complaining about, oh, we don't get Mary Ellen in this game. Well, we kind of do, technically. So, yeah, I'm not disappointed. I love this. So they actually went ahead and animate. Wow, this is... You know what? Kudos to the animation team, or whoever made this. He did a really good job. I mean, I don't care about the fact that we got less characters. I don't care about the fact that we got not a whole lot of interest. Like, you know, like, it doesn't feel like this whole thing was back in 2020. Like, you know, we had a whole lot of stuff. But the best part about it is that they actually, like, when it comes to animations and stuff like that, they actually take their time and focus on the characters so that they actually make it look fluid and whatnot. This is something you appreciate. Because, think about it, the other characters, like the characters we have, they're kind of stationary. You don't really get to see much animation, but they actually did a good job here. You don't even get to notice that, you know, a lot of games, and when it comes to stuff like this, it's just... 
Ooh, uh, mwah. perfect. I love this. Thank you so much. You've you basically like okay. We all know you want to marry Ellen, so this is your this is your uh, conduit your prize. You get to get this instead. So yeah, that's nice. Not too bad. Right. So um, it's a little bit later. This should give me the blobs. Thank you, Justin. Yep, there you go. So something I've noticed to kind of keep it kind of prolonged is that they um, they have it a little bit harder to get some of the stuff here. Yeah, you can sell it, so it kind of helps you. So they kind of adjusted um, the, the event so it's not too easy. At the same time, it's not too hard. So they've kind of made it so that way, if you look at this here... Like, you notice how there's like 200, 350, 650, 100, and, you know, 120. So, all together, this whole thing's kind of like, you know, whatever. But, we're going to complete this first quest anyways, and uh, see where we go from here. And then we'll also complete with Jillian. But the way we're going to do that is through these packs. Now... I don't really need to get these packs, but I'm doing it because, um, I mean, I could wait until the price lowers down, but honestly, I do support this game, and a lot of you watch, and I probably make my money back anyway, so let's go ahead and get them. All right, so the first of these items are done. Yep, so we got those guys. Nice and stuff. I'm still waiting on, by the way, on the, the Valentine stuff and Poison Lake. Just because I'm, I'm trying to get that fixed. Once I can get that working, you know, apparently it's supposed to be fixed, but let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. But now, let's take a look at this. The weird chocolate monsters. And get the Mask Cherub statue, which we need for, um, to complete this quest. A bit of money, but hey... Whatever supports, right? So we got everything we need now. So out of curiosity, how much did I get? Oh, okay, so that, that basically got me all of the seven that and the cakes, so. And a lot of the... Okay, well... Well, that's something I'll keep a note of when I do my um, crafting 101, which I will do in my off time. But, you know, again, do it just to support, not really just to beat the game. But, you know, oh god, these are huge. Alright, so, guess our first teddy bear. It does drop us screams. Teddy love thunder. Thunder. We got the, this one. The teddy love skull. And now we're going to get, oh yeah, look at these boys. <laughs> Got the Teddy Love Ghost. I feel like I should... Yeah, I feel like I should just alter this around a little bit, just so... Like, it, it, it doesn't really matter, because at the end of the day, these are going to be put somewhere around town. Just cuz. Now then, let's put on the Chocolate Monsters, and then we'll do the other thing. So let's go ahead and do... The red chocolate monster, which looks just looks real creepy, by the way. Like kudos on the like, you really got. This is the one thing I'll give to this guy is that uh, he certainly is making creepy ideas. Like, look at this. This is disturbing. This is this is nasty. Nut chocolate monster, the red chocolate monster, and now we're going for the black chocolate monster. Which uh, has a weird eating grin with the eyeballs and everything like that. There you go. There we go. I think that does it. Yep. So we got the monsters and whatnot. So now, let's put this Max Chirp statue down. Drops us every four hours. Oh my god. That is huge. I did not expect this to be this huge, like, holy, really. And by the way, I gotta love the fact that they're using the haunted mask, if anything. Like, really. 
All right. Let's see how the story goes. It all started back when Slappy was still on the road as part of Jimmy O'Jane's ventriloquist act. Oh yeah, speaking of him, I think he was mentioned that he, he has some sort of puppet show after after a while. I, I guess that something happened after his act. I don't know. Uh, will we get to see him? I, I doubt it, but who, who knows? Let's see what happens. And the road happened to bring them to this very town for the first time. Okay, something tells me that we will actually get to see Jimmy, so question is, how is he going to look? Amazing where you can wind up if you follow the road. I know, it's like plot convenience. The road to... The road is paved with good intention. Or, the road to hell to pave with good intention. I don't know anymore. That is the road of love. Ah, oh, come on, really? <laughs> Anyways, I got that done. So we got all this stuff. 100 each. Which is nice. So let's see how this goes about. Oh, the big young things of the still long for more. Five years have been done on this show. Insulting people just doesn't do anything for me anymore. Hey, what's with this depressing act? I bought this ticket because I was told I would see a crazy, angry puppet. Ah, there's Mr. Mortman. <laughs> I'm surprised that he decided to, out of all people, go to see the show, but I guess he's the only one with appropriate angry face. Shut up, you dumb piece of cockroaches! Damn, I've never been burned that bad before by a piece of wood. Hey, you still got it! This town is no different than the rest. Well, I guess we won't get to see Jimmy O'James, sadly. Place the Ouija board a duration. Two of them. Mm, two? I mean, I could do that. How much? 350 so. 56. I mean, technically... God, that's huge. God, I know these items are supposed to be... I, mean, I didn't expect it to be ginormous. Alright, well. I could still continue on with this quest, but I'm going to hold off just because... I like to try to make this part two not too short, if that makes sense. I mean, I want to try to prolong as much as possible, mind you. But let's go ahead and now do another animation with our girl here. So we could do ice cream, which I don't want to do. A bad clown performance. I am curious about the clown stuff. Green music, mucus vomiting. Now I'm curious about that, exactly what, how they're going to explain this. But I am, I am intrigued. So, got clown training, which I guess he, she could go back their house after a while. So let's see, one, two. So we have three different... Yeah, so we have... Alright, so let's see bad clown performance. So let's see how, how bad this clown performance is. Uh, oh, well, I mean, she's not dressed like a clown, but uh, you know, she she was doing it pretty good. Like, look at this. She's like, yeah, look, do, 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 do. Woo, 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 woo. drops it. So you know, and I again love the facial animations where you actually get to see the changes of expression. So it's not like it's a, a statue face, if that makes sense, like some of the other characters. Not that it's bad or anything, but it's just something to note. But yeah, so that's the second animation. So we got two more. Now, mind you, I did get to see one of them. So I will uh, show that off later. But uh, yeah, needless to say, I am intrigued to see how this goes about. But yeah, the I'm, I'm glad they mentioned Jimmy L. James. So I'm curious to see if we actually ever get to see him in the game. Maybe in the future. But let's see. We're just going to have her do this for a while and uh, take my time. Man, I don't like the fact that Jillian has a smug face about her. I don't know what it is. It kind of reminds... You know what it reminds me of? I played this game called Hat in Time. And, you know, the hat kid you play as. There's a smug dance that you actually get to play with. And uh, I swear to God, it, it reminds me so much of that. So, I don't know. You, it's just something along those lines. Also, you've noticed that she's basically out and about doing whatever. Because uh, I just finished recording. Um, 
some videos. Uh, so one of which I'm going to point out, um, you know, this was just for uh, after uh, the Crafting 101, which is short, by the way, but uh, I digress. One of the things uh, you may have noticed is that I have um, a lot of currency right now for Goosebucks, and that was because of an issue I was trying to find as far as um, things are concerned. And, um, you know, for, what was it? The Valentine's at Poison Lake. Apparently, from what I understand, it's going to be a little bit of a delay next update. So that means in May. Unfortunately, I know, but, uh, you know, the trail's still trying to fix and there's a small team. So, you know, it's it's what it is. I'll, I'll, leave, I'll leave it to them. I'll, I'll, you know, I'm not too bothered by it. It's It sucks that it's going to be delayed, but, you know, and whatever. So there's that. But that's not the only thing going on right now. As you've noticed, I've also leveled up to level 58. This happened during the Valentine's Poison Lake because I was trying to complete the main story with that as far as the side story goes. So at least I got that going on. So yeah, that's that's basically it for now. We're going to look at more of Jillian's quests as far as what is con like what she can do. But I'm going to hold off just yet because... One of the things I want to do is continue on with the quest line. See where we go from there and see what we need to do as far as animations are concerned. So yeah, we'll put this down. And I swear, I can't believe this is so big. Like, why Why so huge? Why are these items so huge, by the way? Uh, well, let's get this not going. I mean, it does pay for my punishments. Wow, what a spoiled dummy. Hey, Jimmy! Jimmy. What would you invite someone, someone on stage? Maybe they won't be as useless as you are. Are we finally gonna get to see Jimmy himself? Sir, any volunteers? Oh my god, there he is. There's Jimmy himself wearing the same thing like Slappy. So they're going with the younger version of him, from what I understand. It'll be interesting if we actually get Slappy's nightmare and they decide to bring him back, but this time a little bit older. This will kind of give context of how old this used to be, but I don't know. Mortman seemed to look like the same, unless he never aged. But uh, yeah, he looks—he's looking pretty scared right now. I see a couple of horrid twins over there. Look at them, really tall. Come on, use curly tights. Oh, geez, I wonder who this could be. All right, cool. Yay, we got that done. Also, yeah, he moved, by the way, because, again, talking about stuff. Also, I want to point out, I'm sorry, I did have to read, you can tell I did not read the books at all, because, yes, uh, Petey is um, Jillian's pet lizard. And at first, I was like, oh, is it a frog? No, by looking closer inspection, it looks like an iguana, but it's not my fault. I thought he was holding him by one of his legs, okay? Not the tail, but, okay, whatever. So... Why don't you tell me and dear old Slappy your names? I'm Katie, and she's Amanda, and this is our doll, Mary Ellen. Oh my god, we finally get to see their face, and uh, what is it with the blue eyes? The blue eyes makes it look creepier. I don't know what it is. It's just, god, okay. Well, right, you, you nailed the head. Uh, you know, I'm still going to be curious of why they wear the mask, but uh, I guess they'll explain it later on. Mm-hmm, yeah, no, nothing too scary about that. Mm, look at that face. Look at that smile. Look at them big old teeth. Mmm. <laughs> it reminds me of that episode from John Tron. You know, the one where he freaks out about the doll coming to life. And he's like, no! Probably did a bit already, but who knows. Well, that's cute. No, it's not, you worried wart. He looks ugly as sin, and you know it. No, it's not. Ah, oh, good old Slappy. Baking fun of people. Oh man, what a great act. Hey! Don't talk to my little sisters like that! Come on, girls. Let's get out of here. I'll take you out for ice cream. Got big sister energy, but uh, the other thing too. I guess we now know what... Um, what next animation is. 
Also, by the way, why, why did I say it like that? Big sister energy. Like, no, no crap, Grim. She is the big sister compared to the twins. What's wrong with me? But okay. Anime time for ice cream. Well, she's going to go out and about, which I don't want. What? Ugh, the bench. All right, let's see if I can get lucky and get that bench that she needs. Or am I going to be screwed? Let's find out. No, I don't think it's that one. It's a little bit... It's, like, darker. Hmm. Let's see. I know it's out and about, but I'm trying to see if I can find it. Is it a Rusta Park bench? I don't think so. Again, I'm, I'm trying my best to keep her inside her cage. I mean, I could take her back... I can bring her back in the cage because, you know, she has a... Go back to the house animation uh, inside the house task, so it's possible to do that. But it's just you know what it is, right? I don't want her to go away again. But uh, oh boy, I don't think I see it. I think I just pass. Yeah, I think it's one of the stuff I pass. I think it's like the first bench we get, the one that looks decent. Yeah, it's probably that. Oh, you can buy some of the screen. Oh, yeah, you can. What, what's wrong with me? Of course you can. So, it's not the park bench. It's probably... Is it the classic park bench? No, it's just the park bench without the, uh, the handles. So, is it just a normal park bench? Let's see. Yeah, it says it's supposed to look like that, so let's see what happens. No! <laughs> God damn it. Why? Let me guess, she's going over here? Where, where did she go? Oh good, she's gonna block her way over there. Right, I guess we're gonna find out how she looks like eating ice cream then. Isn't that nice? Oh god. oh, god. I don't know how to feel about this. This is just... Again. I tried my best. I don't know what it is. Every time... I knew. I knew it as soon as I saw that. I was like... Hmm. It's gonna bite me, isn't it? Now, she does have animation to kind of give us the cake knife set. But I could also just get it by crafting. So that's also another option. All right, so she's not go she's going down, so it's not up there. So what? Is it just like going to the first ever thing you put down? I guess that's what it is. I guess they don't go to the nearest one. It just yeah, you know, you're just going to whatever one that was the first one to put put down. All right, fantastic, great. Oh good lord. You're joking. Well, she doesn't know how to eat ice cream, apparently. She keeps on dropping it. But, my God, what? Don't tell me you ate all that yourself. God. Strawberry, vanilla, and chocolate. You can't be bothered which one? Nah, screw it. I'll eat the whole tubs. And you're gonna be like, well, maybe the twins ate some too. But, yeah, a whole tub of ice cream? Really? This is one of those... The, the, you know how when you're depressed and whatnot, the stereotypical of I'm gonna eat a tub of ice cream. This is this is what this is right here. Why why does she need to eat this whole tub of ice cream for? Yeah, <sighs> you know I guess they just want to make an interesting animation. You know, interesting animation indeed. This is quite intriguing. But okay, there you go. But uh, yeah, so we're on the third part now. So finishing that, going the fourth, and then after finishing the fourth. Yeah, that seems about right. Yeah. Okay. So, we got that going on for ourselves, and I guess we'll just see. Where this leads, I feel like these parts are going to be shorter and shorter, but uh, who knows. If something else happens in between, then we'll know at least. But, uh, hey, you know, it's, it's nice that we finally got something new in the game, right? Interesting first time this popped up here. So, now it's been literally... 
a day since this popped up since I logged in. But I also forgot to do this, so you need pencil cases, so Conrad can do that. Or I can just get it from the, I believe it's, no, it's somewhere, it's a school shop. Yeah, it's this one, school supply shop. So I guess get that and uh, go from there, which, uh, just do this for now. So yeah, I'm going to make my way doing this while she's eating tubs of ice cream. Like, really, you pig. <laughs> Later on, she's still eating her ice cream. She's finished. You know, give me that. I was going to do ventriloquism to get the thing. But as you know, she's uh, out and about, which uh, I don't want. So uh, uh, back home you go. <laughs> back to the home you go, unfortunately. Yeah, so it, it sucks that... Um, so I guess moving forward... Excuse me. Um. What? Oh. Oh, buddy, how, how did that, why, well, no, why did you move? That, oh, okay, um, that took me aback, I had no idea, okay, oh, oh boy, <laughs> this game is a little bit wonky, man, it, oh, oh, okay, hold on a second, there's a new animation, okay, all right, here I thought they had no anim- No, they have more animations, so let's just see this. What's going on here? Okay, so she's shaking the doll. I'm assuming, in this case, she, she suspects the doll is alive, so she's kind of whacking it around. Also, um, I don't know if I mentioned this before. I'm probably going to mention it again. If not, then I'll mention it now. <sighs> If you know, I don't, I didn't, for, <laughs> it's been so long since I read, oh god, the book, the book, mm, this is basically worth the book, I get that, but the reason why Mary Ellen is huge is because she's described as being life-size, okay, <laughs> life-size doll, sure, why not, but yeah, that's her doing that. And, uh, sorry, this, if you're curious, it's about 3 hours and 45 minutes, drops 25 bucks and 12 currency, which is not too bad. Not too bad indeed. But man, uh, I did not expect her to have another animation, so I guess clown performance, I'm assuming, is not that exactly. And, uh, the little thing on the table there, it's, um, I'm assuming that's the bird stuff. I, okay. I don't know if they mentioned this in the book, but I do remember from the episode this was based off of that the father was a carpenter and uh, he was doing these bird houses and he had a lot of them. And, you know, that was kind of the way of why Mary Ellen and Slappy ended up dying, quote unquote. But yeah, and uh, this also, by the way, would explain like this. This story is taking place in the past, assuming how far in the past? Who knows? At this point, why question time? Because time means nothing in this game. It's just, you know, maybe one day it's like 1990, and the next day it's it's current year. <laughs> it's just, it's, it's, don't think about it. Best movie. I love that movie. I joke about that movie, but uh, I did watch it. It's not bad. Not a bad movie, but yeah, I'm going to keep on joking every time. By the way, I just noticed there's like only one light in the house on top of there with the roof. But I digress. Man, I've, uh, yeah, this this is going to be an interesting series, that's that's for sure. I'm glad the game's back, finally. It's, you know, I was kind of skeptical at first, but this is kind of bringing a smile to my face. You can tell that they put some love into this. And, you know, I'm starting to warm up to it. You know, I might have been like, mm, kind of stingy with it, but I'm, I'm, I'm growing to it. I'm still surprised that they decided to put the haunted mask as the face for this chirrup statue. You'd think that it wouldn't be, but I just want to point something out. This is the second time he's used the the haunted mask as the masks. You might be wondering what I mean by this. Well, if I recall where I put the others, um, 
There's like the snowman gang, if you remember from the Christmas thing. I trying to remember where exactly did I put it like in the winter area? Maybe I don't remember. I can't remember for the life of me. But there was a snowman gang, if you know what I'm talking about, and they had like masks on them. I could have sworn that that was kind of like like had haunted masks or unloved type of thing there. God, this is really ticking me off because it's like, I know it's somewhere. Dang it. Where? Where is it? <laughs> Where are they? I can't see. Th oh, wait, there they are. Oh, they were hiding. Yeah, but see, I mean, they're not really. Okay, so they're not really the haunted masks per se, but you can get the gist of what, what I'm trying. <sighs> I'm just making up stuff along the way. I'm just keeping. God, I, I always wonder, like, these videos are going to be too short, but I end up always, for some reason, finding ways to kind of communicate and showing things off while also talking at the same time. So, yeah, it's like there's no problem with having this stuff going on here. Oh, by the way, I forgot I should have clicked on... <laughs> here I am talking for five minutes, and I've yet to click on the dummy theater to get the things that I need. By the way... Interesting, we finally got to see what Jimmy O. James looks like, at least a young version of him. Man, I didn't, th yeah, he's like, he was described as being big, like broad, but God, I didn't really think he'd look like that, but okay, well, that's, that's what he looks like, blonde guy, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm curious, he looks like a character that would probably fit in the game, probably Slappy's Nightmare, perhaps, but uh, we'll see. Anyways, yeah, there you go. Happy and sad masks. Oh, yeah, I should collect more of that, shouldn't I? All right. Yeah, let's do that. How much more do I need in order to get a two bucks? Yeah, why not? Why not? I'll make it back. Yeah, I'll make it back. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, the game is now new as far as how this is going to go moving forward, but I don't think a lot of people mind so much. And quite honestly, I think a lot of people actually, just the fact that the game is back at all, I think they just care about that, all right? So, and, you know, I'm glad too, because, hey, it makes it allows me to make video content, right? Which is always important. But anyways, I, I'm talking on long enough. So I'll come back once this is done, or if she ends up having a new animation that's not hiding in the house. I assume it's hiding in the house. So at least one of them's hiding in the house. I might keep on saying that, I'm sorry. But yeah, you get the gist of it, right? Also, I just want to point out before I end this, why is the cake knife set cut off there? Like, I'm not bothered by it. I just find it weird that it's like an aesthetic choice, if anything. But okay. Shrugs. Where's the money? Where's the money, Mary Ellen? It reminds... I remember there was, this, there was this viral clip of a small girl. Give me that money. And then froze the doll. Although she, she swore in that one. I can't say that because of... You know, context and all that stuff. And the... Things. <laughs> Sorry. Hmm. I digress. Hmm, radio. Now then. The only other things we haven't seen yet is the um, clown training, which I did see Bort actually put her on to. And it says basically building, just go in there and that's it. So that's the only building. So one, two, three, four, five animations, which is pretty, pretty nuts because I think, I'm thinking she, the last character we got was what, um, Lizzie had four maybe? I may be mistaken, but I, ca I can't recall. But yeah, so... Yes. Hmm, boy. Okay. So anyways, I am going to do the green mucus vomit, which I think I know what it is. Although, I'm already making another one for the cake knife set, so I'm able to get that done. So let's just see this going on here. Alright. Oh. Oh boy. Oh no. Let's just see this real quick. Oh god. <laughs> so 
It's exactly what I think. It's like I remember Casey showed this off, and I'm just like, they obviously got inspired by the exorcist, you know, with her. The you know. <laughs> the, ooh, oh, I don't feel so good. <laughs> Green mucus, by the way. Green mucus vomit. God, that's got to be disgusting. It's like Nickelodeon slime. That's what it is. <laughs> Oh, God. But, um, yeah. Again, it, I'm curious of how this is going to be played out, if they're going to acknowledge it, or if they're just going to pretend it's like, oh, it's just like in the books, so don't worry about it. But, yeah. Weird. But, uh... Ugh, I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm tired, man. I have to go into work and all that stuff. So when I come back from work, we should be able to continue on with the quest, finish part four, and I think that should be it for this part two, I think. So let's see how this goes. You know, I seem to forget. I mean, it's now 24 days left. But uh, I, I seem to have forgotten the scene. It's like... I've been so busy with the quest, and it's like, oh yeah, I'm supposed to show off one of each individually, right? So, you know what? Why don't we do the twins first, and then we do Mary Ellen, you know, why not? So there we go. So here's the twins. Can I actually... Hold on, there we go. There we go, we get to click on them and get to watch them scare people. It's actually quite interesting to watch. I do like how they decide to make this, um, like, first of all, I think it works out well to kind of have them stand out, like, you know, be twins, but also have the, like, I kind of figured to do the happy sad face of the clowns. <laughs> I don't know why clowns, by the way, but, okay. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's quite interesting, I'll put it that way. And yeah, I know I'm gonna have these people running around scared for a bit, but don't worry. Oh, God. You twins just want to go ahead and just go into places that you can't see your your pretty animations. There you go. There you go. Spook people. And yes, I do see the floating G. Don't worry about that. I remember when those came out, by the way. It was like, what, back in September 2020? Yeah, that's been that so long. It used to be the, um, what do you call them, Mimics? Yeah. Anyways, got that going on here. And, um, he, does he get scared? No, he doesn't. But yeah, they're done. Uh, Chiller doesn't get scared. Interesting. Um, I guess it makes sense. He's a weird guy himself. But yeah, the twins are just going to be going up about and just kind of spooking people with their scissors. And oh, look, I actually got the uh, cake from them. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Not bad. Oh, look, a hidden G down there. Again, that must have been something that they wanted to do, was just change it to G's, I guess, just to make it fit with the Goosebumps stuff, and, you know, I used to remember they used to joke, like, change it to certain things, like in the summer, or the Easter events, they would have it be those weird egg monsters, and then, uh, what was it, in the summer, they had those weird pine cone things, and of course the fall they have the, the spooky, you know, thing. Yeah, the thing, the pumpkins, yeah. Got that going on there. But yeah, you know, slowly but surely. Also, I think, if I'm not mistaken, while well, I'm just wasting some time here, I should... Oh. I thought I got two already. Hmm. Let's just see this real quick. Kind of ruined my whole thing. Ooh, I got nine minutes. Nee. Okay, well, in that case, um, I guess I'm coming back later on today to finish this part three, going to part four. And then I guess after that, we'll go into finishing it off. Oh, my God. This episode two. And then we get to go into the last four parts. And curious. Yeah, I mean... It sucks that there's not a whole lot of this quest line anymore, like we only get eight parts, but I think eight is the magic number, like it's it's satisfying, like it's not too much, like it's not too much for the team to kind of do multiple of, but it's not too little either, like five, five, five was too short, <laughs> too, way too short, man, 
uh, eight uh, is it, better. It's a little bit juicier. Let's just put it that way. So yeah, it seems like this is going to be a pattern now. So how these events are going to go, it's going to be pretty much pattern as of late, but uh, not too bad, I will say. Anywho, I shall return. Although, now that I think about it, I have Vommy McGee over there, like, vomiting up a storm. Yep, she's still vomiting up a storm. Still got some minutes to go. And she'll get me a cake. Which, uh, by the way, how much do I have? Yeah, I have a lots of stuff, so I just need... The love, the love letters are basically the thing I need to get, but I'm not too bothered with it, as you can tell. I'm just kind of like, you know, I'm just letting it go through because, again, a lot of this stuff. And by the way, I can I can go ahead and get this, but I'm like, yeah, I mean, if I have all the stuff, then that's great. Other than that, I'm just like, meh, you know, <laughs> five bucks is five bucks. It's like, you know, I, I I'll make five bucks quick. Right? Like, watch. You want you want to see your five bucks? Watch this. Boom. Look. More than five bucks. Bam. <laughs> uh, more. Bam. And then I got the slappy thing. Does that give me money? Oh, it's still yet to give me money. Okay. It's, it's, it's on its way, but it's coming. But yeah, there's a lot of stuff there. But yeah, you know. I can tell this. I, I've been at this game for almost five years, man. And people still like to watch this content, which I, I don't mind doing. And I love making these videos, so, you know, it's a win-win. Man, I'm still surprised they got, like, they made new music for the Halloween update last year. That was that was wild. I never thought they would ever do that, but uh, especially with this game where it's at now. But, uh, hey, you know, I guess Horror, Horrorland was a special occasion. But uh, let's see what happens in the future. Maybe we might get lucky, but, uh, you know. Again, they they try to put their efforts in the right places, and then the others are just like, eh, special, whatever. It's like, if it happens, it happens. But I digress. Anyways, I shall return later on when this is done. And hopefully, this should be finishing up. And, oh, God. Okay, that's something I'm going to try to remember is to see what she looks like here, because I keep on forgetting to do this type of stuff. I'm assuming it's basically the same smug face on the side here, but, you know, I'll, I'll just do that just to make sure I don't forget. So, yeah, there's that I have to do as well. So, uh, yeah, give it some time. I'll probably be back in a bit. All right, some time's passed, and now the dummy thing is, you know, done and stuff. So once we click it, we'll continue with the quest line, and we'll get to the last thing we need to do. So let's see what happens next. Who was that? Who was the girl in the ice cream? I don't know, Slappy. Let's just get on with the act, shall we? What if we call? Shut up, up you Jesus disgusting joke of a human. Can't you see I have more important things to do than your stupid act? Can't you see I don't need you anymore? Suddenly, her life has a more important meaning. But just because a girl told you off and eats ice cream, that makes you go, Whoa, hey now, I found a new meaning of life. What is this? Is this what love feels like? Ladies and gentlemen, this has been my final act. Slappy has found love. You've got to be kidding me. This is how it starts? Oh my god. This story better has a good payoff. That's all I have to say. Like... Apparently it's taken in the past, but still, God, you such a wimp. All right, 20 of the coins, 20 of the blobs, and 140 of the wooden hearts, which, uh, yeah, I get it. At first, I was like, oh, black hearts, but no, it's a wooden hearts, so, haha, I get it, because Slappy's a dummy. Oh, time-limited promo, that's nice. Uh, no thank you. Right, so I guess it's now time for the last quest for this part two, and then we'll get to see where we go for part three. And so it happened that our hair-curling, blood-chilling Slappy was in love with none other than simple Jillian, a human girl. Yeah, but why, though? Why is he in love with a normal, boring girl like Jillian? Like, come on, man! Affabeat, do your job. Make me actually think. Oh, this is this is brilliant. But no, it does. Mm. Who was this Jillian? 
Who was the woman that stole Slappy's heart? Yeah, that's exactly what I want to know, um, Affaby. But seriously, that's it? God, okay. Place the rabbit invasion. Bad clown performance. Poison chocolates. So what do we need for poison chocolates? Oh, tin cans. Yeah, that's fine. Actually, do I have things on for tin cans? I do not, don't I? There you go. So, I need to put the rabbit things down. I guess we'll get to go from there. And then see where we leave off. But, you know, again, I, I don't mind Affabee's telling the story of the past. It's like, oh, you know, this, this thing is happening here. You know, because reasons and blah, 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 blah. And, um... Yeah, you know what? Um... Let's see this. Bad clown performance is what I need to do. But I also need the poison chocolates. Mm, you know, I'll do poison chocolates. I'll bring her back into the other area later. Don't you worry about that. But anyways, let's see this rabbit invasion. Oh, wow, look at that. I have just enough for this. Oh god, you're huge too. Why are you why is everything so big? <laughs> it's like, oh yes, massive. It's as big as the house. By the way, I need to ask, where did you get inspirations for this? Did did you make it out of your own head? Like this looks this looks ab abominate like, you know, good evil type of thing. Like what, what what's the word? It's creepy. It fits well. But why rabbits? I don't know. I'll hold off just because, just in case, for the bla bad clown performance and whatnot. So I'll get, obtain the poison chocolates, have Jillian do thing to kind of get me this here, which is, you know, love cards. And um, I guess get the blobs as well, but that's its own separate thing. But yeah, let, let me just say, I'm curious to see where this leads, but... Oh boy, especially with how, like, why does the twins get the, the clown weirdo outfits and uh, with Jillian as herself? I mean, they're following from the books, which, like I said, it's not too bad to see. I've seen people who were, like, happy Jillian's here, and, and then you got people like me and Erasmo that are, like, salty that... You know what it is with me and Rasmo? We this this story has been in the works since 2021. <laughs> right before the game went on its indefinite hiatus. So you can only imagine the with the changes here. Like it's something that we just have to adapt with. But you know, it's gonna be hard. <sighs> Like, I wonder if this is just a design decision, or is it just, like, mandate now that it has to kind of follow more with the books. I don't know. But, you know, I'm not against this idea. I do like what he's trying to do here. I'm still not sold with the fact that Slappy just looks at boring old Jillian eating ice cream, or, I'm sorry, failing to eat ice cream <laughs> and slappy goes whoa that girl's for me <laughs> why and something tells me that some violations might happen <laughs> and i don't i'm not, oh, I don't, i'm not looking forward to that but um oh boy but uh yeah um i'll, I'll let this pass through and uh, i guess we'll come back um when we know whenever this gets close to done. I'm doing this real quick because I just want to point something out. Uh, get Jillian to do a thing. Have her go back home. Give me love cards. Thanks for that. I just realized I screwed it up again. What I meant to do was to show you this. Ah, 
There she is. Look at that. Wasn't that worth 38 goose bucks? No. No, not really. Oh, look, and the item dropped as well. Isn't that nice? Anyways, go back and do that thing for me again. Oh, boy. Sometimes it just... Things just don't work out the way I wanted it to. Oh, well. Tis life. Should be back once I get all this other stuff done. And then we'll be finished with part two. Isn't that great? I'm just excited and happy like Jillian is over here. Oh, boy. I'm just making this video real quick because I've just been notified. I mean, it's... April Fool's Day, by the way, I forgot to mention that, I know, haha, uh, hopefully people saw my little prank I made, and uh, hopefully they're not too bad, <laughs> upset, but I got notified saying that this Love Game team here is actually working now. Ah, I guess I must be pranked, <laughs> April Fool's to me. No, but apparently it seems like it's working, so... I don't know. Give it some time. Maybe it'll come back, but, um... Yeah. I will show it off once it's finally working for me. So, one thing I wanted to say is, uh... <laughs> I, uh, hope people weren't mad about the April Fool's Day prank I kind of pulled on people. <laughs> oh, boy. That that was that was a fun one. I, I could not help myself. The timing was just too perfect. My uploads was always on Saturdays, and it happened to be April 1st, and I was like, oh, boy. <laughs> and I literally thought of that idea the day, the day of, like, yesterday, in a sense, when I was working. I'm like, oh, boy, I know exactly what I'm going to be doing. And, uh, you know, certainly had some fun with that. Uh, but I digress. Something I wanted to point out um, is that I'm kind of not so much peeved, but um, it kind of like, you know, in Android versions, like my version, you see that the land is all grayed out, right? Like this grayed out thing. But, you know, in Apple's devices, you guys get fog. We only got fog like once back in like when they introduced the Abominable Snowman from Pasadena update way back in November of 2018. Remember that? I have that recording. Then they got that red. And they got rid of that. And then there was this like, oh, no, shadows for you. Screw you. Right? Which sucks. And by the way, they still have not done change this at all. Uh, but uh, something I want to point out, by the way, while we're... Waiting for this. I know. We're still doing this. I'm sorry. Um, but, yes. I'm going to put the stuff down, and then she's going to be doing her stuff. But something I do want to point out is, if you notice this, if you notice, the redeem button is faded. This is one of the bugs, quote-unquote, they ended up fixing for this patch update. So they fixed some errors and whatnot i did make a post on reddit basically talking more about this stuff but it is interesting that now you no longer get to click the button and go oh you need these items now it's basically will not redeem it until all four check boxes are cleared which makes sense and then as soon as that's done the redeem button disappears so it's clever a clever way and them putting effort into doing something like this means that this type of system of events is not going to go anywhere anytime soon. And I don't think they're going to do the Battle Pass feature because this game is a little bit unique in that functionality. And yes, that thing is still broken, by the way. So let's go to the Dummy Theater. Click on this. Thank you very much. Very much appreciated. And now, when we got that done, we will go ahead and put the... Um, um, uh, let's see here. Yep, so that's done. So now all I have to do is put the bunny down and put her on her quest. But unfortunately, she's still going to be shaking her for a little bit while before I do the bad clown performance. So I'll return to finish that off and we'll end the video. So yeah, happy April 1st and I uh, hope you're not too mad at me. I'm sorry. A few hours have passed. And as you can see, she's doing her clown performance. So all we need to really do now, hmm, thank you, I don't need it, is to um, put down the rabbit invasion, or rabbit's invasion. 
which um sure why not and now we just click on her and be done with the quest and we'll look at part five and end it so let's see where the story goes now gosh that was awful is my dream of becoming a clown ever going to come true man i think theo would be very proud to see that you wanted to become a clown although something tells me clowns is not going to be the end of it i wonder why i mean it by that come on Jill. Oh, look at that. Her twin sisters are actually being supportive. That's sweet of you to say, girls. I'm hopeless. I can't even do a simple juggling routine right. Why don't you press Mary Ellen's button? She always has something nice to say. Oh, she's a talking doll. This is not going to end very well, is it? Little Jill went up the hill to fetch a juggling ball. Jill fell down and broke her crown and so found out she sucks. Wow, that's insulting. <laughs> Ooh, burn! Well, that was uncalled for. Why are you girls so mean to me? What What kind of double, like, what? hold on a second, for a minute, like, for one second, you're like, oh, you girls are sweet. Only for them to you go ahead and say, oh, you girls suck. Despite the fact that it was Mary Ellen who said it, not them. So, what, what? What's it, where is this double thing coming from? that's it part four is done which means we're now going to look at part five and end it i wonder what's going to happen now i can't believe those two the nerd how hey oh sorry i bumped into you i didn't see you i'm just so happy that i'm finally free really you being happy you look terrified but maybe it's because you only had one facial animation Hmm, <laughs> I know, limitations, but still, come on, couldn't give him a happy smile. Free? What do you mean? That horrid puppet has left me. I don't have to answer him anymore. I'm free! Bye! What a charming fellow. I wonder if we'll ever see him in the future. I mean, they made a presence, so maybe. Well, that was weird. Hey... What's that thing lying over there in the trash? Oh jeez, I wonder who it is. <laughs> is it the same dummy who likes to hide in trash for some reason? You know, I, I joke with Mr. Wood calling him a trash dummy. But maybe Slappy's a trash dummy all along. Oh jeez, look, it's Dumpster Boy himself. Place white chocolate monster. Obtain black roses. Now... Do you do anything for me? Oh, no, 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 you don't. You, you instead just uh, go over there. That's nice. Oh, yeah, so you don't do that. So why don't you just keep on shaking for me? Because I have a feeling I'm going to probably need something else. So I wonder what's going to happen. Why this whole thing is going on. And honestly, just this whole event, how that's going to go about. Because honestly, I'm just like, oh, boy. Oh boy! Alright, so yeah, that's not too bad. I need yo-yos. No, wrong thing. I need the toy stop. No, that's bread. There you go. So there you go. We got that going on here. So, um, yeah. I guess, um, we're just gonna do that and end it off. Because I think we're about maybe an hour in. So, I think that's good enough. So anyways, I shall see you, um, whenever we come close. Or something happens. I don't know. Until then, toodaloo. Actually, why did I say that? I always... I didn't I say that before? By the way, I forgot to end this. But uh, if you're curious, a thousand for the chocolate monster. So, uh... Ooh, boy. And so it begins, folks. The terror down lane is going down and down. You might think, like naive me, that perhaps there was some sort of thing going on at the end. That maybe there was some sort of payoff. Well, I can't spoil it for you just yet. But I will say one thing. Part 3 is going to have a warning. There will be a rain-angry rant. 
Oh boy, is there going to be an angry rant. But until then, I hope you enjoyed this video and the inevitable conclusion to this episode and uh, series of this, this dump. I'll save it for now. I have been Grim, and I'll be seeing you next time for some more Ride of Living Dummy. Until then, see you in part three.